Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back. Today is the second class of the NS3 basic course. In this class, we will learn to generate XML file which will allow us to see our network graphically. Let's get started. Uh, friends, it is a very simple. If you have NetN configuration, you just have to do two things. Uh, first, to add a header file and second is uh, name the XML file. Yeah, and if you have not configured NetNM yet, here is a link in the i button. From there, you can see the complete procedure. So, first of all, write here NetNM module. I have already write it here NetNM module. H. This will uh, generate the XML file uh, of this name. And here is the second thing which we have to write here. Animation interface NM. Animation interface and name is NM. You can write here any name. And the name is first dot XML file. XML. XML is its extension. Let's compile it. So just go to scratch folder and open terminal here. Let me tell you something here. You do not need to write, rewrite the entire command whenever you want to run the program again. Just press the up arrow like this and you will see the all, all previous commands here like that. So uh, here now uh, we will press enter. So this is the output of our the previous program. So this error is showing here because of there is no mobility model installed in our scenario. Later on we will install the mobility model and then we will uh, place the nodes on its specific position. So now that uh, error are showing because of that. For watching or for seeing the graphical uh, graphical view, uh, we have to open the NetNM. NetNM is a built-in module of an S3, so we have to configure it before. I already mentioned here. Go to Net NetNM and open the terminal and new terminal here. You can see the address of the uh, application here. So here just write its opening command net and press enter. Here this is the interface of net and from this option uh, we have opened the file which we are generating here. Go to NS3 folder and NS3.3 directory. So here there are many files which already generated by my code and we need to find the first dot XML. So here is the file. So here you can see the two nodes here. So if we run, you can see the packet is transmitting from uh, both nodes. So in our case there are only one packet. Uh, if we increase the packet, we will see the uh, this arrow is moving here to here and many more time according to number of packets. Let's see it. So here we are increasing the max packets. 10. Save. From that terminal, compile it again. So now you can see the uh, transmission occurred at many time according to our mentioned packet size, number of packet. Open NetNM and refresh the file. Now you can see the moving of the arrow. This indicates the packet uh, from transmitting from one node to another. Guys, here, here, 
here we can reduce or increase the size of the node uh, and also we increase the uh, we change the color of the node let me explain it here is the option uh, of the interface of the all nodes so this is first node so we want to change the color we just uh, write the name here code here 250 green code and now this is turned into yellow and if you want to change it to node 1 so here we will 250 just orange so uh, we will change we can change the image of the node instead of circle so in later classes uh, we will see here in detail so I hope uh, you have uh, you will learn a lot of uh, from this course as well so in the next class uh, we will change uh, interface of the first dot cc we will convert it into an ad hoc network uh, scenario so till next